This is the first in a series of short videos that help you with file management skills. The more files you have, the more important it is for you to have these skills. We're going to be looking at Windows Explorer in this video. First, let's not get confused. On the left, we have Internet Explorer that helps you look at Internet pages. That's the E with a circle. On the right-hand side is Windows Explorer that helps you find folders and files on your computer. It's the picture of the yellow file folder. When you see the window, which I will show you in a moment, notice that there are two panes, like a window pane, P-A-N-E -E pane. On the left side is the navigation pane, or you might call it the folders pane, where you can see the organization of your computer and all the locations on your computer or on your network. You can access these with one click, although if you double click, it's okay. On the right-hand side of the screen is the folders and files, or the details pane, that lets you see individual content, and you access that with a double click. I'm going to show you how to change the width of the navigation panel and change the views so that you can see the file information easier. And that's what we'll do in this short video. Stand by one second while I get that view up for you. My window is quite small right now. I accessed it actually by going down here to the bottom to the yellow file folder. There are other ways to get to it, but this was the way I used. When I clicked on it, I happened to make it small enough that there would be a vertical scroll bar in the middle dividing them. If you were to maximize your screen, that vertical scroll bar would go away, although you might have one on the right hand side depending on how many files you have. I did this so that you can see, if you watch very closely, as I move right, 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 oh, right there, I'll get a horizontal two-headed arrow and that will let me change the width of that navigation pane. That will make things much easier. Now I'll maximize the screen. There are several views of the screen, and if you go up to the Views button right there, you can click and see the various views. Mine is set to Details view, which I find to be the most handy. If you, on the other hand, were in, for example, a Pictures folder, then you would be looking at a various set of icon views and different sizes of icons, you can either click or drag that pointer to different sizes. Let me go back to the C drive here, for example. And if you look at the top, in the details view, you will see column headings. If I want to change the width of a column heading, I can go gently to the right of the little down arrow and get the, two, the vertical line with a two-headed arrow, and then either click and drag for a different width, or double-click to make it as wide as it needs to be for the widest. Also notice that I can tell if it needs to be wider because I'll have three dots. That's an ellipsis. You can also sort. By default, they're in folder first, order alphabetically, files second, alphabetical order. You can change that. By the way, a folder is a holder for multiple files, just like you might get a file folder to put information in. And there's a tiny little arrow at the top of that column telling me if I'm searching in ascending or descending order. I can not only search that way, sort is not searching, it's sorting, but I could sort by date modified, earliest to latest or latest to earliest. I could sort by the type of file. I could sort by the size of the file. And there are more things that you could do, but we don't need to talk about them in this video. That's the basic information for using the Windows Explorer window. I hope you will find that useful to you as you're trying to find files on your computer.